conscious community. Today we would like to speak about exclusively about our Tantra teachers course, which is going to be um, the whole month of April. Yes, there will be a certificate for the completion in the end, but we also want to mention that a certificate alone does not make a good teacher yet. Um, the wisdom is important, yes, but it's also the life experiences that you have to actual teaching with real people out there. So in this teacher course, we will not just have you in there, but we're going to form um, um, Tantra courses with people from outside and then you can co-teach with us together to bring out these experiences. We can do a preparation before, then we will lead together with you and we're going to do a retrospective afterwards. This is so crucial because um, this is how we were educated and we really feel the differences when some people just get the knowledge, pass an exam, get a certificate and then go out into the world and actually not knowing how to handle an audience. So leading people in the strong experiences, it's very responsible work. So we want to prepare not only teachers who know exercises, but also to prepare a strong leader, which is very confident, which can speak in front of big audiences. And me, myself, I combine my Tantra with acting school, because before I became a Tantra teacher, I was an actress and uh, I know how to lead your voice, how to speak in front of the big audiences, how to control your body that it would be self-confident, how to change immediately your uh, state if you are feeling not good. Uh, for example, going into the Tantra teachings, like it's soon the workshop, and you have to go and something is wrong with your body, with your state inside. So we will teach you how to really feel self-confident and grounded before you're going to lead the workshop. Yeah, and there's so many other things that you sometimes have to decide on the spot. Sometimes you designed a whole workshop and then after a couple of exercises, you realize that people might need something very different. Maybe they um, need more boundary exercises or uh, they're actually ready for intimacy. Uh, for example, nakedness, or they actually have some traumas to release. They need more uh, guidance through communication. They're maybe too shy. They don't know what to do, even though you're guiding them. So a lot of things you need to read the room, read your audience, and not just speak in front of a camera, but actually like it's an interaction with them. And uh, so sometimes that can need some time. And when, with us, when we have a whole month together, we will have uh, so many different workshops together where we can go to all of these different fields uh, as a team. So we will lead you on how to handle strong process and how to be sensitive, how to create a safe space, how to prepare the space, how to prepare yourself before leading the workshop. So there will be a lot of small topics where you cannot learn nowhere because we will share our deep secrets how we are leading and how we are successful in this field. Actually, we are proud uh, members of the Tantra movement um, because when I see other schools, um, they have uh, people that finish those certificates, but then they teach sometimes on the festival, but not actively. It's not becoming the main passion of their lives. And the one thing that I noticed about the Tantra movement that I know most of them right now are somewhere in the world actively teaching at least eight to ten workshops a year uh, of one week or longer. And this is also why we call ourselves a Tantra movement. It's not just a school. We want to spread this all over the world to make the world a better place through awareness, consciousness, and not just being a retreat where you enjoy something for a week and then you go on back to your old life. And my main passion is to lead Tantra workshops for children. Maybe that sounds strange, but I believe that if we will start from really young audience, we will have a better world in the future. So I will share my experience how I integrate those tantric exercises for the small children and how they can love the, themselves more, how they can interact with themselves in a very conscious way from the very beginning of their life. Tantra for children is definitely nothing about sexuality yet because it's not the time, it's not the right time yet. But 
it's about eye gazing about breathing techniques about touch about conscious touch about how to see each other like a god angel goddess from the very young child age so we invite you to join our one month training for tantra teachers and to become a really good guide for people in their spiritual journeys if you feel a calling reach us now because it's time to learn how to be a really good teacher not only a student our goal is to prepare as many teachers as we can for the world that the world would be a better place.